Hello everyone, Genesis Rider here with another Genesis Tips and Tricks video. Today is going to be a very short video where I drive my teammate, Dax709, you can see her gamer tag at the bottom of your screen here, to a Rampage Perfection, the Warthog. She gets the Perfection, she's my gunner that you can see just got to the back of my Warthog. Her tag is Daxie. And essentially, I'm just going to be going over this brief game on the map, Panic Station. It's This map is forged on the Forge World of Impact. I did do a map review for this map, so I'm pretty familiar with it. But the game type we're currently playing is Big Team Slayer. And unlike Infinity Slayer, Big Team Slayer makes you choose between a set amount of loadouts. What this essentially means for all Warthog drivers is that you can drive around freely without being stuck by plasma grenades or shot by a charged plasma pistol. So this is really nice, and this game probably really had a lot of good plays simply because there were many players in the enemy team who were missing. And the enemy players simply were not that good because they just really didn't know how to get around our Warthog charges and things of that nature. So I'm just going to be loosely commentating on the gameplay. Yes, there are a few AFK players, but because of the lack of the quantity of players in the enemy team, it allows for some really good Warthog driving examples in non-extremely pressurized situations. It's also nice because my gunner never dies. Um, I believe I might actually die during this film, but I um, just wanted to commentate in general over this film in terms of driving in general. Um, what you're going to see me do is kind of slow down, not necessarily come to a complete stop, but kind of pause as we get closer and closer and closer. You can see right here, I'm not necessarily just revving up and just getting out of these situations really, really quickly, but I'm continuing to move. You can see me back up here and just turn around there. Um, I'm really trying to keep myself and my gunner on the move. You can see I kind of slow down a little bit here, waiting for her to get some kills, but I don't wait for her to get these kills on the side here because I know that if I wait for too long, then we're going to get stuck or shot. So I'm going to continue moving along um, these upper um, routes and passageways here. So you can see this guy did pick up a plaza pistol off the map, and he's going to um, get that and try to shoot us with it. That being said, um, that you can't load out the plaza pistol and plaza grenades. There are um, plaza pistols and plaza grenades on the map, but they're not extremely frequent. You have to actually get to the position where they spawn and grab them, so it's really nice for us Warthog drivers. Now, um, using your horn when you're driving someone of the Warthog means two things. It either means the people in front of you need to get out of the way, obviously, or second of all, when you're honking the horn, it means that people are in front of you. What this essentially means is that your gunner needs to face in front of you and look at the frontal position and start gunning um, in that way. And it's really nice when you have teammates running around the map as well because they can distract enemy players from your Warthog. Um, one of the things you want to be doing or your gunner wants to be doing is before you even come around the corner, um, you want to be priming the gun on your machine gun turret um, because once you have brought the machine gun up to full speed, you'll notice how once Daxi actually has engaged the turret for two or three seconds, it goes on full burst auto mode. And what this means is that especially when you get into medium and especially close ranges, the gun, if you're accurate, tears through people even faster than the saw does, which is um, insane seeing that the saw is one of the fastest killing automatic weapons in any Halo game. So, and this is mainly thanks to the June 3rd, 2013 update to the um, chain guns on both the Hog and the Mantis, which I believe gives it a 25% damage boost. Um, so it's really nice because the Hog is really ultra powerful if you can use it. That being said, the Warthog in Halo 4 um, is not um, very strong in terms of durability. Um, it is unfortunate because in this game, um, while you can see here we got shot out of the Warthog, we're not able to load out with Wheelman or Gunner. Remember, we are constricted in our own loadouts as well. Not just the enemy team, but also um, my teammate and I are constricted to um, just base loadouts. We can't use these things that would normally help us in our vehicles. So that being said, this perfection is decently impressive from that standpoint. Um, another one of the things you really want to avoid is not going on flat surfaces. Um, if you go off of edges, the Warthog has a tendency, like the Mongoose, to flip over very easily. It doesn't stabilize quite as nicely as the Ghost does. So it's crucial that um, if you're going over edges, as you can see me doing here, I'm not going full throttle down that ramp. I'm easing us over the ledges so that I can um, let gravity take its place, 
push us back down onto the ramp, gain traction so we can continue moving. And that's the main thing is that you don't over edges, you don't want to be going absolutely full tilt. Now it's okay to um, be going decently fast, but you don't want to go extremely fast. Um, it's a little tip, I just wanted to throw you out to the, there to you guys. Believe it or not, this video is actually nearing its conclusion. Um, I don't think I actually died, and we ended up dominating the enemy team while they did have a few players down. Um, shout out to Dax709. Um, um, she followed me on Twitter after that, and it was really cool because we actually played several games in Big Team Battle while I was live streaming that night and um, later on as well. So this is a, kind of an informal tips and tricks video. Guys, I didn't have a whole lot of time today, but hopefully this example of driving on the map panic station gives you an idea of what you should be aiming for as a driver and also as a gunner as well. Um, I look forward to playing more with Dax709. Um, and um, for those of you who are wondering, I am working on my thruster pack ultimate guide video. Um, I can't tell you when that's going to be out. It's going to be a while. And I'm also working on a dual doubles commentary, essentially putting two player viewpoints on the same screen while I'm reviewing their game. So it's going to be pretty intense. Um, right here, this is a kind of close call where Dax actually cleans up the enemy uh, Warthog. They finally get smart and get in it. Um, but as it is, this was Dax's, or Dax's seven, I'm sorry, second uh, perfection ever in Halo 4. Um, so that was really cool that I was able to drive her to that. But guys, um, thank you for watching this video, and hope you enjoyed. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next capture or whatever in recording. Peace.